I came across the company through working within the hospitality industry. Um, I came across vending machines, .ie, um, as they were a provider that supplied uh, weighing scales and some other um, equipment uh, in the hotel I, I was working in. That's how I came across the company. Um, I used, uh, I would speak regularly with uh, Omar uh, in relation to reconciling reports, uh, particularly the the sales reports. And I would be would have been issuing invoices back to vending machines. Uh, in order to uh, to uh, communicate the the reconciled balances to uh, for payments. Um, that's how I came across vending machines. Ie. Um, I myself am a vending machine operator currently, uh, and hence why that was how I got in touch with Omar in, in terms of purchasing my own machines uh, and getting into the field. Um, at the moment, I am solely involved in the uh, sales of. Um, disposable baits and um, I've purchased one machine from vendingmachines.ie which is the small 84 unit um, vape vending machine simply because one uh, of the size it's small it's compact and it's fairly secure and um, at the moment I am looking at other sites for uh, food and drink which um, need to be finalized as of yet but um my intention is to purchase um, a couple of food and drink vending machines uh, in the near future hopefully in the next two to three months and uh, when i finalize a couple of uh final details with uh with my uh, with my clients i suppose the challenge is i think everyone's faced their own challenges during covid and for myself it was more just diversifying uh, into something new and trying my hand at something that I had an interest or I had I had watched a number of videos on and I just thought maybe it might be a good opportunity to secure some passive income and um, primarily and um, that was my main um, I suppose my main objective uh, into getting into vending machines but yeah that that it was just all about kind of maybe adding another stream of revenue to uh, to my current uh, income what I like about the current vending machine is um, it's small and it's compact and it's easy to load and um, it allows me to some vending machines you we all we all have the app and we can all track it but sometimes it's just great to be able to see visually straight into the machine and be able to gauge straight away what's what's selling what's not having rather than having to open up the machine and just take out the shelves and then basically do a count it's not that deep so essentially you can you can do a quick literally if it's only a flyby you're jumping out of your car you can walk in you can have a look people can see the products as well and i think i think from a visual visual perspective they're able to rather than just reading they can just see it and i think it's it almost and helps helps with an impulse buy rather than having to actually look across at everything and read read out the the contents and um, visually they're kind of more drawn to it and uh, so i think from that perspective with that sort of machine it's um it's quite easy i like the other features how it talks back to you it gives you the times and the dates as well and um, because it's something else that i've had some feedback on in the sense that people are able to kind of actually see exactly what they're purchasing rather than actually just putting in their money, pressing a button. It's actually telling you, this is your price, in present your card, press the green button, make your selection, uh, present your card. It's 
it's almost assisting people how to how to make the purchase which i think is really really helpful rather than having to put up uh, a laminated sign with each individual step by step you don't have to do that it's less manual work for you and it's just more helpful for for the um for the customer i would probably give it a, a seven and a half or an eight out of ten i think in some locations maybe a bit more customer detail could be could be done and um, for example the vending machine is located in a hotel tailor tailor the the contents of the of the vending machine to let's say a certain customer profile so for example if you have a North Americans in may it may be more maybe worthwhile more worthwhile let's say have some American snacks in it that they they would consider like home from home treats you know and that kind of thing I think if there was a little bit more kind of adjustment in that sense it it would definitely it would definitely make a difference uh i've been lucky i haven't had any maintenance issues <laughs> um yeah like my machine uh, the machine that i have with yourselves um it doesn't get moved it doesn't get lifted it doesn't get pushed around it doesn't get broken everyone knows who i am and because it's local local it's everyone knows who i am and who the owner is and it, there's never any issues with it i haven't had any issues with it any technical issues or anything like that touch wood yes i would uh, what i find really really easy with yourselves is the accessibility to contact and um, it's really easy to kind of get in touch with you and um, via phone or email i find the, the response is quite quick as well so you're never waiting more than 24 hours for a response essentially you're always getting some level of feedback or some level of communication that someone will be with you in the next two to three days so will be with you in the next 24 hours 48 hours and i've always found quite helpful with omar you know if you drop him a, te- a whatsapp message he's generally going to come back to you within half an hour or an hour unless he's in a meeting or something like that so it's that alone i think is peace of mind for anyone who wants to who wants to go with many machines that i eat.